Hello, I am so glad that you are joining me today to learn a little bit about Algebra 1. Today, you are going to be learning topics in the standard 2.1c, and we're going to be talking about dependent and independent variable. So just so you know, those this is also a topic that you learn in biology, so what you learn here will help you out in biology also. So after you watch this video, um, you should you will know a little bit about the questions that are asked in the study island topic domain and range. Um, there's another video you can watch that cover that will help you to understand all the questions in that topic. So make sure you watch both videos before you tackle those questions. And remember, you can stop and pause this video as, and rewind as much as you need. Just um, remember that taking notes is only going to help you out, so I highly recommend that you do that. So stay tuned, and we'll be learning a little bit about independent and dependent variables. Hello. I so dependent... An independent variable, if you've studied about this in biology, it's the same idea. It's not any different. The words mean the same thing. So changing the independent variable, and you can feel free to pause this at any point, and I highly encourage you to copy these notes down in your notebook. So changing the independent variable causes changes in the dependent variable. So understanding how these two variables are related can help us to identify which is the independent variable and which is the dependent variable, which is the skill that we're working on today. Um, there's some other ways that you can think about this relationship between the independent and dependent variable. You can think about it as the independent causes the change in the dependent, like I wrote up top here. Or you can also think about it as the dependent variable depends on the independent variable. So the dependent variable depends on the independent variable. So you don't have to remember both those relation definitions or relationships. Just pick one that works for you, and that's the one you need to remember. Different, in my experience, different people have better luck remembering one or the other. So you, some other context clues that might help us identify the independent variable and the dependent variable is that x is always the independent variable and y is always the dependent variable. Now remember, we can also call x the input, or x could also be described as the domain. And y is always your output, or your range. So those are your notes on how to tell the difference between independent and dependent variable. 
So let's go ahead and look at some problems so we can apply what we've learned. Let's look at this next problem. It says, John owns a window cleaning business. He charges different prices for different cleaning windows of different sizes. What are the independent and dependent variables? Okay, so let's think about this problem. Um, you're somebody that goes and cleans windows and that's how you make your living. You're probably gonna charge less for a little window like this then you're going to charge for a big window or a window that has multiple pieces i mean not all of these are created equal some are more work some are less work so let's the independent or dependent variable depends on the independent variable that's what we have written down in our notes to look back at so here does the in our problem, we're talking about different prices and different window sizes. So does the price depend on the size of the window? Or does the size of the window depend on how much he charges? Well, the one that makes the most sense is that the amount that he charges depends on how big that window is. So our dependent variable is going to be the how much he charges, and our independent variable is going to be the size. So that means our answer here is letter B. Here's another example. Victoria made meatballs with peppers for seven people. She noticed that more peppers, that the more peppers she put in the mix, the spicier the meatballs. Based on this information, what is the independent variable? So remember, one of our relationships is the dependent variable depends on the independent variable. Or if you like the other way, changing the independent variable causes changes in the dependent variable. So in this problem, we're talking about peppers and the spiciness of the meatballs. So does the amount of peppers depend on the spiciness of the meatballs? Or does the spiciness of the meatballs depend on the amount of peppers? Which one makes more sense to you? It makes more sense that the spiciness of the meatballs depends on the amount of peppers. So that means the independent variable is this amount how spicy the meatballs are and the independent variable is the amount of peppers so that means a says the number of peppers is the independent variable so that means that answer is going to be a <clears throat> and so only one thing can be the independent variable per problem. So it can't be B, and it can't be C because you can't have two. And then the number of meatballs, it's not D, and it, it's not going to be E. Because the number of people stays the same, it doesn't change. Let's look at another example. All right. If you get a question with a table, that should be really exciting to you because these are much more straightforward than the word problems that we were doing before. Because remember, when you're working in a table, this first column is always X and your second column is always Y. So your first column is always your input, second is always your output. And if you remember in the notes that we took together at the beginning, X is always the independent variable. So here, size is going to be the independent variable. And the question says, what is the independent variable in the menu? So your answer here is B, the size. Let's 
Stan drives on a six-lane highway daily to work. He noticed that on mornings when there is more traffic, the time to get to work is longer than on days when traffic is light. Based on this information, what is the dependent variable for this situation? So I would go ahead and pause it right now, and you pick the answer that you think is right. And once you have that answer, go ahead and unpause it and see how you did. So you have a dependent variable depends on the independent variable. That's our relationship. So in this example, we are looking at the time, we're looking at the amount of traffic and the time it takes them to get to work. So does the amount of traffic depend on the time it takes them to get to work? Or does the time it takes them to get to work depend on the amount of traffic? In this example, it's going to be that the time that it takes them to get to work depends on the traffic. That's the one that makes the most sense. So here, time is going to be our dependent variable and traffic is going to be our independent variable. So once we have that figured out, then B is going to be our answer. I hope you have a great day. And go ahead and try some of these on your own now. You can use Study Island to do more practice on your own. And you can also use IXL.com using this link to do more practice on your own. Um, IXL gives you, I believe, 20 problems free a day per device that you're practicing on 